Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Saturday, November 19th. The Gospel passage for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 20th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Some Sadducees, those who deny there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, If someone's brother dies, leaving a wife but no child, His brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and third married her. And likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry. But those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for to him all are alive. Some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. In today's scripture passage, Jesus answers the question of the Sadducees. But he goes on even further and talks about the resurrection of the dead. And Jesus' insights into the resurrection are truly worth our consideration as we come to the end of another liturgical year, and as we look forward to the consummation of the kingdom of God. Now Jesus tells the crowd that because of the resurrection, they can no longer die, for they are like angels, and they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. We know that this is the summation, again, of the kingdom. And because Christ died on the cross, resurrected from the dead and ascended to heaven, everything is prepared for this event at the end of time. So, though none of us have experienced the resurrection of the dead, we, for our part, can look to Christ and his experiences and what has been revealed through sacred scripture and have the confident hope that one day this this too will happen in our lives. But we just need to have faith. And yes, there are lots of questions. Not the same questions probably as was proposed to Jesus today by the Sadducees about husbands and wives. But there's other questions. How can a glorified body come back together after thousands of years of decay? Or what does a glorified body mean when we don't have pain, sickness, or injury? And these are all good questions because again we don't have those experiences and furthermore we don't know how this is possible given our observed knowledge of the natural world but again we return to what Jesus did he showed us the way by his resurrection and ascension and also we previewed what a glorified body is like through Jesus's interaction with his apostles after his resurrection And we also know that a glorified body is not bound to space and time because of Jesus' ability to appear and disappear with his glorified body. But also, brothers and sisters, in addition to Christ, we can look to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We know through faith that she was born without sin, so therefore she ascended into heaven, and she is with Christ, body, blood, and soul. And again, this points to what is possible for us at the end of time. Yes, most of us, again, among the human race, have to succumb to death because of the effects of original sin. But Mary, being spared from these realities, foreshadows what will happen at the end of time. When again, we will get to experience glorified bodies like hers. And 
truly can spend the rest of our lives, however that may be, glorifying God in heaven. So again, death does not have the final answer. Life in Christ is the final answer at the resurrection. And as we await that glorious event, we just need to have hope that each and every day we focus on what Christ has done for us, not only in his teaching and example here on earth, but even what has been revealed through him about what we will experience at the end of the time, glorifying our God forever in heaven. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.